Hello, and welcome to our demonstration of a proposed education app for our Penn State University LDT 550 Design Studios course taken in the spring of 2019. For this activity, we have been assigned the task of developing an app that addresses educational needs as identified in the U.S. Office of Education Technology 2015 EdTech Developers Guide. Our professor is Simon Hooper, and we are team four, Suzanne, Manny, and Sean. We were assigned the task of exploring options seven and eight, which examine ways to improve educator productivity and making learning accessible for all students. After discussing features and aspects of these two options, we zeroed in on a method for improving teacher productivity. The guide states, Educators have enormous administrative burdens throughout a school year. This includes preparing lessons, finding teaching materials, grading, reporting, communicating with parents, and supporting school functions. We brainstormed the problems teachers face, and to identify a few, we addressed ways to speed up teacher feed, uh, the feedback loop, how to facilitate formative and summative work, but through the course of the discussion, we zeroed on, on ways to support preparing lessons and finding teaching materials as being important and settled on developing a lesson plan generator application that used well-constructed content made by master teachers and master trainers that is based on established educational standards and training outcomes. The goal of this app is to support improving educator productivity, with the added feature and benefit of hopefully making learning accessible to all students by facilitating teachers to create well-crafted lesson plans that are comprehensive enough to feature content that supports differentiated learning. The intended end users are teachers, trainers, and deliverers of, deliverers of instruction at any level and in any situation. In a moment, we will walk you through a demonstration of the user interface and a model of how the app will function. The initial design of the app is web-based, but the structure and function of the application is such that it would also support a standalone version that can be run through a client application. The back end would be supported by a database containing, as previously noted, content developed by master teachers and master trainers that would conform to well-defined education standards, and or training objectives. The user is presented with a login screen, and once they've completed logging in, they are presented with the landing page. The landing page will contain the latest information and a direct link to training materials, in this case, a video demonstrating how to use the application. Once they've decided on their objective, they would click on the option from the menu on the left. In this case, we are going to select lesson plans by subject areas. You're presented with the option screen where you can choose your area of interest for building a lesson plan. We're going to go through middle school, college admissions, and procurement training to demonstrate the functionality. Selecting the middle school option, I'm taken to a screen where I'm presented a list of standard middle school subject areas. In this case, I'm going to select Science, and I'm taken to the first step, where I select the area that I wish to develop my lesson plan for. In this case, I've already selected Physics and Astronomy. Once I make that choice, I click Proceed, and I'm taken to the next screen where I select the length of the unit of work. For demonstration purposes, I cannot show how the calendar works, but you would select the day that you want to begin the unit of work and the day that you want to end the unit of work on. Clicking Proceed takes you to the next step where you get to make selections that differentiate your instruction. You would select options that would help construct your final lesson plan. In this case, I have selected options that support the development of a lesson plan for beginning level instruction, 
intermediate level instruction, and that it supports students in my class who are ESL, speaking English as a second language, and also have learning support needs. I don't want to do a summative test at the end, but I do want to provide my students with formative feedback, so I selected that option as well. Once those options have been chosen, I click Proceed, where I'm taken to a screen that allows me to select the outcomes or goals that I want for my students. In this case, I've selected that students will be able to define what a planet is, they'll be able to define what a dwarf planet is, and so on, as you can see from the options selected. Once I've made these selections, and you can do any combination of them that is going to suit your subject and your lesson, you scroll to the bottom and click Proceed. Then, drawing on information from the database of lesson activities constructed by master teachers, I am presented with two tiers, or two tracks, for my lesson plans. One that is focused on a beginner level lesson, and one that would contain information and content for an intermediary level lesson. A lot of the content would be similar and would allow me to teach these two levels in a single class without much difficulty, yet I would be able to have differentiated activities and outcomes for the students. Once I'm done, I can click on proceed and be taken back to my main screen. From the main screen, I could use the application to develop lesson plans for other situations. Due to time constraints, I won't go through these in a step-by-step -step procedure, but the processes follow the same methods demonstrated in developing lesson plans for middle school science class. I could use the lesson plan tool to create a course that would support college admissions for students who must complete basic writing skills, mathematics, and social science skills or we could even use the application for professional development of staff in our organization. For example, we could have a procurement training that would allow us to take standard uh, information and knowledge and provide a training course to grow members of our staff into advanced procurement positions. Following the same steps that we did pre previously, we would walk through them, making the option choices that are necessary to generate a lesson plan that would support the development of our staff. We hope you found this model interesting and see the potential of it in facilitating educators to reduce the complexity of their work. Thank you for watching the video.